Hi, welcome to the Brush and Balcon. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint a Death Guard Plague Surgeon. Okay, so we're going to be using the Plague Surgeon. As you can see, he's been undercoated with Zandri Dust Spray, which gives him that sort of like sandy colour. And I've gone over his armour using Vallejo White. Now, I didn't really need to do that. If you look at this Death Guard guy, he's been undercoated with Zandri Dust and hasn't had his armour painted white before I've started. So it doesn't make that much difference when you're painting them up. The first colour that we're going to do on him is going to be the Russian Uniform World War II. And again, for this model, we're going to do all the base colours first, then we're going to do all the washes. So I'm going to skip ahead now and when we come back all the green will be done. Okay, The next colour is Vallejo Model Air Rust and for that we're going to be doing all the trim and the brass colours on the model. Okay, when we come back, we'll have all the rust finished. So the next colour we're going to be using is Vallejo Model Air Steel. I'm going to be using that to do all the silvery kind of metallics. Okay, so when we come back to him, all the steel will be done. Right, the next colour that we're going to do on him, it's just a little bit of white on this apron part at the front. Now we're probably going to have to give this another layer, just to make sure that the colour is smooth and not streaky. going to finish off this white and then we'll come back to it once it's done. Next colour we're going to use is Vallejo Basic Skin Tone. I'm just going to use that on his face and one of the tubes that's coming out of his back. When we come back to him, all the flesh will be done. I'm going to use a little bit of serious purple, and that's just for the tentacles that are coming out through his armour. Right, next we're going to do all the shades. So what we're going to be using is a mix of Vallejo Black Wash and grey wash, uh, we're going to be using that on the apron, then we're going to be using Seraphim Sepia on the cloak and his shoulder pads um, and the rest of his armour as well, and then we're going to be using a Grax Earth shade on all the brass parts, Null Oil on all the silver parts, and we're just going to be using a little bit of Juicy Violet on the tentacle. Okay, when we come back all the shades will be done. Okay, now the next colour we're going to be doing is the white and Citadel Ushabti Bone mix. And we're going to be applying this to all of his armour. Okay, 
Okay, so when we come back to this, all the armour should be painted. Okay, we're going to do the first layer of the corrosion, and that's just going to be Citadel Seraphim Sepia. And we're just going to do this around the top of all the armour, and a few little streaks running down. Okay, so I'll just finish off the sepia, and then when we come back, we'll start on the next layer. Right, so the next colour that we're going to be doing is a Grax Earth Shade. I'm going to be doing slightly thinner streaks where we've just put the sepia. Okay, when we come back, we'll have all the Grax Earth shade done. Next, we're going to be using Citadel Null Oil just to do a final few little trickles running down the armour. When we come back to this, all in all in oil will be done. Next we're just going to be working on his face. We're going to be using the Leo Basic Skin Tone. We're just going to paint up all the bits that we've washed with the Druchy Violet. Okay, when we come back, his face should be done. Next part that we're going to be doing is using Citadel Ushabti Bone to do his teeth. We're going to be doing the maggots in the same Ushabti Bone as well. We'll be giving them a wash of Seraphim Sepia and then be highlighting them with Ushabti Bone. Going to be using Vallejo White to do his eyeballs. Now, a tiny spot of a bad and black. And once we've done the pupils, we're going to be giving it a wash of really watered down Vallejo White just to give it that kind of roomy look. When we come back, we'll have all that finished. Next, we're just going to be working on the face on the side of his shoulder here. So we're going to be painting the inside of his mouth with Citadel Mephiston Red. We're just going to use a little bit of Mephiston Red mixed with Vallejo White, and that's just to do the tongue and the tongue on the lamp. We're just going to use a little bit of Duty Violet on the inside of the Plague Bearer's mouth. Next, just a little tiny bit of his shabty bone, just on each of the teeth. There we go. Okay, next we're just going to use a little bit of Russian uniform World War II, just to highlight the plague bear on his shoulder. I'm just going to use a little bit of Vallejo White mixed with the Russian uniform just to give that a little bit of a highlight. Now 
Now we're just going to do a quick little bit of work on the bionic eye on this little skull at the back here. We're going to start off with Vallejo light green and then we're going to use a little bit of light green mixed with Vallejo white. Now we're going to do an extreme highlight on this one. Rather than pure white, we're just going to use a lot of white with a little bit of a layer of light green. Oh, I completely wrecked that. Like so. I'm just going to give the teeth a wash of Carabird Crimson, and then we'll pick out the te individual teeth again once we're done. Also going to use Caribbean Crimson on the tongue. Also a little bit on this corpse here. Like so. I'm just going to finish off this corpse head on the back here. I'm going to use a mix of Able and Sunset and Vallejo White just to paint all the pustules on his face. And we're just going to use a little bit of Caribbean Crimson to go around the edges of those. Like so. I'm just going to do the little pieces on this tube where the tube joins the head and also on the other flesh tubes that he's got hanging out of his backpack. Like so. And next we're going to work on some of the syringes and tubes that he's got around his body. Now I have a uh, Next we're going to work on a couple of the syringes and tubes that he's got around his body. Now I've got a few... Right now, at the moment I'm just putting Elysian Green on this front syringe. I'm going to be painting these up in the same way that I paint glass bottles. Now there is a blog post which I'll link below which tells you how to do that. But I'll do it here as well just so you can see. The first thing is you want to get that layer of Elysian Green onto the syringe. Now you can use any colour that you want for this but I've chosen this for the first one. It's always worth thinking about which way the fluid is going to be level. If it's horizontal or if he's moving, then it's going to have an angle to it. Now all we do for the next part, we mix a little bit of white with whichever colour it is that you've used to gain a lighter shade of that. So just have a little bit of white of the Elysian Green. I'm going to put a little bit Going to tidy up those edges a little bit. And use a little tiny bit of black to do the rest of the bowl. Okay, next we're going to be working on the next syringe over. We're going to be doing that with my fist on red. So do this one quite full. So just add a little bit of white to the my fist on red, the same as before. Do like a little line close to the bottom, one close to the top if you can. You can water it down a bit if you need to, just to make sure that you're getting a thin enough streak. As you can see there, if it is thick, it makes it harder to do the lines. So now what we want to do. So we're just going to put a little bit of black in the top again. Now to add a little bit more colour to those, we're just going to use a little bit of Caraberg Crimson on the red to darken it up a little bit. And a little bit of BL Tan Green to darken up the green one. As a final thing, Going to use pure white, do a few little reflective lines down here. Like 
like so. The final thing we do for those is give them coat gloss varnish, like so. Next thing that we're going to do is just the final two little tubes on his armour there, and they are going to be doing these with a base coat of Avalon Sunset, and we're going to do the tube beneath them in the same colours as well. This colour that we're going to be doing is going to be using Ur Citadel Uriel Yellow. We're going to be doing this to highlight that yellow. Again, we're just going to give an extreme highlight using pure white. We like it. They'll be getting the same gloss varnish and that'll finish them off. Okay, next we're going to be working on his sword and finishing off the tentacles. So for the sword, we're going to be doing this ridge going down it in the usual purple colour, which is Druchy Violet. Right, the next colour that we're going to be using is Gene Steeler Purple, and we're going to use that to highlight it and highlight the tentacles. The final highlight that we're going to use is a little bit of Emperor's Children. We're just going to do the very tips of these parts. Like so. Final thing that we're going to do is use a little bit of Juju Violet just to darken up the crack that runs alongside all those raised areas. One of the final parts is going to be using Vallejo Burnt Cad Red and we're just going to do a few of the little tubes on the side in this colour. We'll do that final wire, fist on red. Next we're going to use a little bit of beige brown, we're just going to do the straps and the sort of strings and cords that he's got going around his body. come back to this all the straps will be painted. The final thing to do before we start on the proper bits of corrosion and gore is to just wash all the straps and the cords with a Grax Earth shade. There we go. We're going to start on the final part of the corrosion now, so we're going to use Typhus Corrosion, Citadel Technical Paint. We're going to apply that to the areas where there's going to be a lot of rust. The next colour that we're going to be using is Citadel Technical Nihil Oxide. We're just going to use that to add a bit of oxidation to the brass part of his armour. We 
we come back to this, I'll run the clock outside, it'll be done. Okay, one of the final things we're going to do is going to use Citadel Riser Rust, the dry paint, just to add a little bit of orange rust to the areas that we added the typhus corrosion and some areas where we've added the Like so. One thing I spotted with one of the syringes on his arm here it hasn't been done yet, so we're just going to paint that with Vallejo light green. And then using the same methods as before, we're just going to mix a little tiny bit of white with the Vallejo light green and highlight that a bit. Okay, the final two paints that we're going to be using today is Caroberg Crimson for the thin washes and splatters of blood and then we're going to be using Blood for the Blood God to add a bit of gore to his sword and a little bit of splatter to his apron. So first using Blood for the Blood God. When we come back we'll have all the Blood for the Blood God finished. Okay, and there we have the finished plague surgeon. We've used the blood for the blood god on his bone saw and running like sort of splatters going up his arm, a little bit across him, and a few drag marks down his apron, along with a little bit on the end of the drill bit and the syringe. And then I've used a little bit of caraberg crimson just to splatter up his apron a little bit more, and um, nothing too much, and put a few little stains on the front of his robe. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and think about subscribing to the channel, it does help us out a lot. We post a new video every Wednesday and please think about subscribing to some of our other social media listed below. Thanks a lot.